So you're working on a project and there is some kind of formatting going on in Word, whether it's a table or some kind of template that you're working with, like a resume template. Those templates are built in and there's extra paragraphs sometimes that come after a table or after a template that you don't see, but Microsoft Word sees. And so to delete that, we have to get creative. So I'm going to show you a table that I just randomly made um, to make this a little bit easier to understand. So we have a Microsoft Word document here and it's just a random table. The same process works for a template. If the table or whatever template you're using goes all the way to the last line on a page, it automatically is going to create a new page um, because there's an extra paragraph there that you don't see, but we have to trick Word into getting rid of it. So what, I'm on a PC. I don't truly know the steps to doing this on a Mac, So, but there should be some kind of way to turn on your paragraph markings. So if you click right here, you can see that there is a new paragraph that Word has automatically started on the next page. And until I get rid of that, it's not going to get rid of the extra blank page. So what I would need to do, one, you can try to hit backspace all you want, but it's not going to backspace because it's up against a table. You can also try to delete, but that's not going to work because it's up against a table. So what you'll need to do is you actually need to highlight the like that and then pick your font size to be as small as possible so that it moves that extra paragraph line up to the next page, the prior page. So I was able to get it to a 10 and it did it. Depending on how you have your margins and your spacing set up, you might even have to go down to a one to make it to where that little bit of thing is going to fit on the other page. And now I've gone from two pages, one of which was blank, to one page. And that happens for some crazy reason when using certain tables and templates that go all the way up against the bottom margin of the page. So hopefully this helped. Uh, let me know if it works.